I'm Bethany Pratt with Jefferson County Cooperative Extension. I'm the horticulture agent here, and we are outside in my front yard strawberry patch. It's um, late May, beginning of June, and my June-bearing strawberries are um, barren fruit. Um, so today we're going to learn a little bit about strawberry plants and how to know when they're ripe and how to take care of them, and then we'll go to the kitchen and see what we're going to make. So we talked about strawberries. We have two kind of big varieties. And I'll wait for the truck. So strawberry plants, if you're interested in growing some for yourself, there's two um, major varieties that you want to think about. And you should really consider those based on your goals as a gardener and an eater. Um, for myself, I really like to can and um, make strawberry jam and then eat a whole bunch all at once. Um, so I have picked a June bearing strawberry plant. So that means that from about mid-May to mid-June, I have a whole bunch of strawberries that are getting ripe. Every day I'm picking a container this size or more filled with berries, but that's only going to last for about a month. Um, but that is, giving, that is giving me enough to preserve strawberries to eat all year. Um, if you're someone who just likes to snack on strawberries, come out and eat a few at a time. Doing an ever-bearing strawberry is maybe the better choice for you. So that's a plant where it'll have berries starting in mid to late May, um, but those berries will continue a few at a time throughout the rest of the growing season, ending in about September to October here in Kentucky. Um, so those will be enough so you'll come out and kind of harvest a handful or two at a time. You'll have enough to snack on, maybe put on your cereal, um, but not enough to do any big um, cooking projects with. Um, so like I said, I have um, June bearing plants here, and as we can see, they are ready to go. Strawberries, no matter what variety you pick, are a perennial. Um, so that means that they need a dedicated space in your garden to grow and continue out. Um, so you can see here, my plants kind of start in the front and they move and have expanded up into the mint patch on this side and then around here kind of into my flowers in the front as well. So these are that's because strawberries put out a runner. So that first year we plant plants. Um, right now my plants are in the middle of um, their fruit production cycle and if we're looking at all of our strawberries they have these nice little yellow seeds on them. Um, so those seeds are what helps generate the new plant. Um, so if I were to leave these seeds on my plant, I would end up with new plants much sooner. I'm always going to miss some when I pick, so my berry, my berry plants will definitely put out some runners later on. Um, for now though, what we're going to focus on is harvesting. So I'm going to come down here and take a look in my strawberry patch. So the best thing about strawberries is that they are right and bright red, but it takes a little work to find them. So you can see this plant, this strawberry looks nice and red on this side, but if I flip it over, it's still got some light pink and white on the bottom. So I'm gonna leave this one here and come back to it for later. Well, it looks like this one is a good one right here. So this berry is nice and red all the way on the bottom. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and it's just gonna fall right off the vine and it is beautiful red color all the way around. So if we take a look, strawberries are a little labor intensive when it comes to picking, um, but if you really like strawberries, it's a good reward. So you take a look here, we've got two berries. This one right here is nice and red all the way around. I'm gonna pick it. This one that's pink all the way around might even be ready this afternoon because it's gonna be nice and warm. Um, and I added some water last night to these plants. So I'm gonna pick this one and leave the other one. And as you see, right, with my strawberries, I've got berries in all kind of stages of development. So I've got some newly formed fruits right here. I've got some green and then some white berries that are moving towards maturity. It takes strawberries about a week to mature if we have nice warm weather like we have right now. So I'm just gonna keep picking now. It can take, takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to pick through my, my patch, which is maybe 60 square feet. Um, and then it would take more the more berries you have. Um, but again, if you really like strawberries, this is certainly the way to go. And nothing beats a nice, bright, red, ripe strawberry.
All right. I'm going to keep picking for a little bit and I will see you all in the kitchen to whip up something tasty with Joel. Hi, this is Joel Worth. I am a senior SNAP assistant with Jefferson County Corporate Extension and I am part of the UK's nutrition education program. As earlier, we were in the garden with Bethany picking strawberries and these are the strawberries she picked. Now, these are local strawberries from Kentucky. This is a strawberry from California that you can get in the supermarket and look at the difference. These may be, these are a lot bigger, these are a lot easier to handle, but I can guarantee you these, these are so much sweeter. So, if you can get Kentucky strawberries in season, I highly recommend it. If you don't grow your own strawberries, all the local farmers markets are gonna have them. So today, we are gonna make strawberry salsa. And some people go, strawberry salsa? It's a great little addition to the regular tomato salsa that we're all used to eating. Okay, and now that things are opening up and you're gonna have people over, this is just a great addition. You can also serve this with grilled chicken, grilled pork, grilled fish. It's a great little salsa, it's easy to make. Uh, this recipe makes seven half cups, and in this half cup, it's only 40 calories. So if you're watching your calories, it's great. So we're going to start off with, as you can see, this is everything that we have in our salsa. We're going to have fresh cilantro. Now, cilantro is one of those things, either you hate it or you love it. I personally love it, but if you hate it, Fresh Italian parsley will work really, really well, or fresh basil will work really, really well. We have green onions. We have grape tomatoes, and I like to use yellow or orange tomatoes, not only red because with the strawberries, it kind of gives it that nice little color. And plus strawberries. We also have salt, olive oil, okay golden balsamic vinegar. We have a half a cup of the cilantro and the onions right here. So, strawberries, tomatoes, okay? They're a great source of vitamin C, okay? There's potassium in it. Uh, strawberries, you know, they're low in calories. They're full of antioxidants, so they're really, really good for us. Olive oil is also really good for us. It has the really good healthy fat that we need. It also has a lot of antioxidants which help fight or, or you know, prevent uh, chronic diseases. Balsamic vinegar, especially the white balsamic vinegar, it's a nice little, it's a sweeter and lighter vinegar than the red vinegar, the red balsamic vinegar, uh, and it's also uh, believe it or not, helps absorb calcium other than dairy. So this is also good for you. If you cannot find balsamic vinegar, I recommend in the recipe it calls for white vinegar. If you can, if you have rice vinegar, rice vinegar will work really, really well with it. So this is all we have. So it's really easy. Let's put it together. So we have two cups of strawberries. Two cups of the tomatoes. We have a half a cup of cilantro. We have one bunch of green onion. Okay, we have one tablespoon of olive oil. Oh, and I like to go up oh, and go a little bit, that's perfect. We have two teaspoon, uh, tablespoons of the white, the golden balsamic vinegar. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Give this a good stir. And you really want to put this in the refrigerator and let it sit for at least an hour or more because the longer it sits, 
then all the, the flavors of the tomatoes and the strawberries and the seasoning all go together. over with tortilla chips, pita chips, or like I said, it goes really, really good with any kind of grilled meat, especially pork, chicken, or fish. And there you go. We have the strawberry salsa.